So the community is still in shock and horror over the tragic events that unfolded. I spoke to one of the community's spiritual leaders, Pastor Doug Swimmer, on how Evaldi is hoping to heal. Watch. You said there's kids that you won't get the opportunity to hug again. What did you mean by that? Because they're, they're gone. And uh, they've sat in these chairs and they've heard me preach. and. In my, in my services, I'm very animated sometimes to keep the kids' attention. And uh, they love it, man. They're glued. We believe that God is all-knowing, God is all-powerful, and God allows all things that happen to happen. What do you tell your congregation when they ask why? Why did God allow this to happen? And that's the big question. Mm -hmm. That's the question that's being asked right now in this community. Why? Mm -hmm. And on this side of eternity, we may never know why. And, and we, we see the outcome of what was in a man's heart because the Bible says, in us, the heart is desperately wicked and no one knows our hearts except God. Do you think this moment is a exercise of faith, of stretching the, the for country, the, the community's faith? For the church as a whole, through tragedy and everything, maybe as people see it in the church, there is a time of stretching and growth, and there is a time of just, you know, where we have to totally trust God with our lives and with, you know, uh, what is happening in, in our community. And as a light that shines in the darkness here in Uvalde, Texas, that's why the church is here, is to show them that God's love and God's grace is far extending even in tragedy. But to see their faces on the second, on the, on the actual day of the shooting when you walk in there into the hospital, when I stepped into that place, all I could give them was nothing else but a prayer of hope that God would meet us there at that place at that moment. And little did I know that day that some of the news that would come back from these families and never wanted to hear is that they would lose their children. But we prayed that day. And we believed God for them that day. And the outcome, tragically, in some families is they lost their children. We've lost teachers. We've lost influential people in our community. And um, we're, we're that we have to stay strong and I always say we're Uvalde strong. The reason why I say that is because we're so tight knit as a community. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will come back. We'll, we'll, we will b bounce back from this. How? We will come together and we will mourn together. But we also will pray together. And we'll console and we'll help. We'll come alongside those that are tired and weary and we'll lift them up. We'll carry them through this as a community because that's who we are, is we're a family. What does America need to know about Uvalde? America needs to know that we're hurting. We need their prayers, their support. And if I may say this, we understand that the political side is going to be out there, but I want America to know and I want America to remember these names of these children. I want America to remember this city that it needs their prayers and name the names of these children. Speak their names. Say their names.